In Parker's production facilities, quality components are produced and integrated in the manufacture of our braided and spiral hoses. The basic components include the inner tube, designed and formulated for the chemical compatibility needed, hose reinforcement, layers of fabric or wire that give hose its strength and pressure ratings, the layer stock that goes between and bonds the layers of reinforcement, and the hose cover, the protective outermost component. To manufacture hose, a mandrel is required to act as a mold for the inner tube. The mandrel is removed after the finished hose is cured. Rigid mandrel is still used for some hose types in production runs of 150 feet or less. Here, the more common flexible mandrel is being extruded. Its OD is measured to the fourth decimal to ensure precise inside hose diameter. It's then cooled, coiled, inspected and prepped for production of the inner tube. Other hose components must also be prepared. For utmost integrity, reinforcing wire is spooled in our facilities as an integral process. The layer stock we put between the reinforcement layers is compounded processed, and calendared in our own plants to maintain our strict standards. Manufacturing of the actual hose begins with the inner tube. The specified compound for the inner tube is loaded into the extruder. A test run is made so that material quality and tube thickness can be checked. When the specifications are met, actual inner tube production takes place. The mandrel is loaded. And the inner tube extrusion is then immediately applied over the mandrel. The inner tube is then prepped for the reinforcement stages. For fabric braided hose, spools of fabric are loaded into a braiding machine. The inner tube then passes through the machine as the fabric is braided around it. Note that the mandrel is still inside the hose, maintaining a precise inside hose dimension. For wire braided hose, a similar machine braids coated wire around the inner tube. Wire reinforcement for spiral hose is produced and applied by similar means. To bond multiple layers of reinforcement and protect against internal friction and abrasion, layer stock is applied between the reinforcement layers. Here it's being applied between tandem braiding machines. After the reinforcement stages, the hose cover is then extruded right over the hose stock. This is what holds it all together and protects the hose on the job. In this process, the lay line is applied. Here, it's being applied by inkjet printer. Critical hose information is contained in the lay line. There is also mylar tape lay line, as seen here, as well as embossed lay line. The lay line identifies the hose's purpose and pressure ratings, its manufacturing plant and date code, among other data. The assembled hose is prepared for vulcanization or curing with either a smooth polymer shell or a tape wrap. These temporary coverings protect the hose from sticking to itself in the curing oven. The hose is then vulcanized or cured in large pressurized steam heated ovens. Curing parameters are computer controlled. After curing, the temporary outer shell or tape is removed and the mandrel is blown out of the hose. The finished hose is then proof tested at double its working pressure for 30 seconds. In addition to our standard cover, Parker offers hose types finished with braided fabric, wire, or stainless steel outer covers for specialized or severe applications. From the finishing stages, Parker Hose enters packaging operations in preparation for shipping to our distributors and customers.